Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to visit International Toronto Auto Show that took place in February of this year in a Metro Toronto Convention Center. It was a really, really great event and um, let me tell you all about it. So besides it's been 50th anniversary, there was a lot of cool features this year, one of them being Electric City. So this exciting new feature exhibit is the one sub destination for the auto show attendees to learn everything about automotive electrification. It was showcasing the ecosystem that supports the new age of mobility. You could learn about the exciting developments in the electrified automotive industry, and it was guided by the experts discovering new options in the mobility. There was the whole panel with them, they were basically talking, discussing certain things, you could ask them questions. It was quite an interesting place for me, even though I don't own an electric vehicle yet, but definitely something to keep in mind and, you know, something that you would like to learn about because everybody keeps moving towards electric vehicles anyway. So this year there have been quite a few um, car brands that have been present. Some of them were missing, but some of them that I like, like Hyundai, as you can see here. Love this brand, I Hyundai myself right now and just was looking forward to what they have to offer in uh, some other models. Um, this has been Ionic 5, like super excited about it. And by the way, later in the video, I'll be test driving it. It was another cool feature this year. You could actually choose um, I guess one of nine vehicles um, and they were all elect electrified, so yeah, I'll show you this later. One of the things that really surprised me it was how full the show was. Like you can see there were basically plenty of people everywhere. And look at these guys. So here Hyundai revealed an electric concept that may be the perfect blend of throwback looks and modern technology. And the name is Envision 74. It's inspired by Hyundai's Pony Coupe concept from 1974. And basically this Pony Coupe never went into production, but this legendary designer went on to pan to the DeLorean DMC-12. So you see the resemblance, I guess. Um, so yeah, up front, and Vision 74 has headlights made up of dozens of little pixels. It kind of reminds you of Hyundai uh, Ionic 5. Uh, it's like this SUV. And yeah, it's just super beautiful. Like everybody was staring at it, taking photos of it. It was definitely one of the highlights of the show for sure. And here we can see another electric model from Hyundai. Um, don't remember the name, I guess it's RN22E, as <laughs> it says there on the, uh, next to the car. And as you can see here, guys, still it was full of people, so it was kind of uncomfortable at times, specifically if you had some specific car that you wanted to have a look at, because most of the cars were actually full of kids, so it was a struggle from time to time. But nevertheless, uh, the event was super popular, needless to say. Features you and those around you will feel, feel protected. We've got forward collision warning with active braking. Now this really will reduce the likelihood of a frontal collision. As well, we got the advanced safety group package that has adaptive cruise control with stop and go. We've got blind spot monitoring, rear cross path detection, trailer detection, uh, surround view camera, and much, much more. You know, over the years and through many generations, Ram 1500 really has stayed true to its mission statement. Then, as now, our development team has remained steadfast in their commitment to delivering the best bang for our buyer's hard-earned buck. So yeah, there was Dodge, obviously, showing up their beautiful uh, Dodge 1500. I'm personally fan of Ford F-150, but unfortunately Ford wasn't there. Nevertheless, the Dodge is an amazing option and definitely I'm looking forward to buying one of those trucks in the near future. Um, there was obviously lots of other car manufacturers like Alfa Romeo. Um, so yeah, just showcasing some of its history and awards it won recently. And along some of the cars. To be honest, not the biggest fan of Alfa Romeo, didn't pay too much attention to the stands over here. And yeah, it, as you can see, like I was inside this Kia and oh my god, look at that. I hate this shiny plastic inside of some of the modern cars. I don't know why the manufacturers can do that. Just horrible, just destroys the car in my opinion. Just look at it. So many fingerprints. Horrible. The car itself though, really like it actually. And that's Kia Sportage or Sportage, like Canadians are saying it. Obviously, like some of the more, I don't know, successful manufacturers in the, in the recent years is Kia and Hyundai because of what they're doing in the industry. Um, yeah, just love it. It's a cool highlight of the show. It was this uh, camp jeep 
it's I guess it's first time it's been in Canada and it offered attendees a chance to experience the offered capabilities of the cars of the Jeeps without leaving the auto show floor. So people could ride along the latest Jeep vehicles, experiencing experiencing five man-made obstacles uh, that rigorously showcase their match capabilities. Honestly, really wanted to try this, but if you can see all those people standing around, it's all the people staying in line and this line was like, I don't know, at least 100, 100 people there. So I would try that. But overall, I tried similar experience in Dubai a few years back. It was awesome, obviously. We have this beautiful Ford GT1 along with other sport cars. Like, just look at this beauty. Like, I, I don't know what else to say here. Just love this vehicle, the way it looks. You couldn't do anything with it. You can just look at it, but it was enough. You know, lots of people took photos. This beautiful Dodge Challenger from the 70s, I believe. And also old school Mercedes. Again, unfortunately couldn't come and take a closer look, but people were taking photos from where they could and we can just stay and admire these cars. So, so beautiful. Next, we visited Subaru stands. Um, nothing special here, to be honest. Like um, I like Subaru. Again, the little bit behind, I would say, in terms of technology last few years, but really nice, reliable cars, and specifically, I like this one. And here, just inside this, uh, I think it's a Forester. Yeah, really nice. But again, a little bit behind in terms of technology. You can see like uh, outdated technology inside of it. Metatron is quite a huge place, so it has two buildings, North Building and South Building. And as you can see, in order to get from one to another one, we had to take an escalator and to go for a good, I believe, maybe 10 minutes walk and you could reach another side of it. In order to continue also, if somebody didn't want to walk, there were available shuttles outside of the buildings. Honestly, we felt like walking that day and uh, <laughs> unfortunately, again, there were so many people, so we had to stack in a human traffic for a while, believe it or not. But at the end of it, we made it to another side and you can see there is some interesting options here that we saw, uh, specifically these cars. <laughs> the, there was so many kids that were literally fighting for it because they wanted to play with them. Uh, yeah, it was quite fun. Uh, some of the, uh, I, I said the Ford was not present, but it was, I guess, that's the only car that's been there. And this is another awesome feature and actually the biggest highlight for me, as you can see, it's Hyundai Ioniq 5 and that's one of those nine cars that they chose to drive. Uh, each of these lines basically represented each car. I think that was Subaru, as you can see here. Uh, that's the Hyundai, the one that I chose because actually maybe we'll get it in the future, maybe not, but at least it's something I was excited about. That was also Cadillac, as you can see it's on the left side right now. It's, I think it's Cadillac Lyric. To be honest, wasn't interested in at all, but it's looking gorgeous, obviously. And along with Cadillac, I think there was, uh, yeah, that was this Vinfast. A new car manufacturer just came to Canada this year. And right behind it, there was a Kia. Another awesome model, I think it's Kia EV6. And it's kind of similar with Hyundai Ioniq 5, but obviously just the design is super different. All right, so finally here, waited one hour for this. So hopefully it's worth it. This is the car. You press the brake down, push your foot on the brake, and then go. Perfect. There we go. That's I'll it. follow up the uh, the super. So just go around the uh, corner. All And you don't have to brake, you just release the acceleration and it's doing it for you. Torque for instance, so get some speed, no problem. It's basically one pedal driving, yes. like I don't need a brake whatsoever. No. And just keep to the left, got one sure. more pass to do. Yep. Here and then keep 
to the left. They've signed by the Super. Mm -hmm. What'd you think of that? It was amazing. I mean, obviously, like, I cannot say I, I could use the full acceleration because. Don't oh, believe that. Man, this is amazing. And this is that's why I chose this car. This is potentially what I'm gonna get. I love the design, so I think it's an awesome choice. Yeah, that, this is perfect. Um, this one has a little bit more body sway mm -hmm. uh, than the EV6. Okay. So a little bit firmer. So you honest, if you here we have some kind of car. I'm not even sure what kind of uh, brand is that, to be honest. Something quite futuristic, I would say. Looks cool, looks cool for sure. Here we have a Lexus. I'm not a huge fan of Lexus. Not saying it's a bad car, just don't like their designs. But there was uh, quite a few good models, obviously. And look at this GMC. This is GMC Denali. Another futuristic truck. Looking super beautiful. Again, like you couldn't go inside, you couldn't explore the interior of the car. But I think it's coming soon and we'll be able to find anything on YouTube. And this is the Buick. Um, again, <laughs> Buick brand, nothing that I'm particularly interested in, but this concept car, just pure beauty. Look at it. Um, and again, that's the only model I was interested in from the Buick. And lots of people took photos of it, obviously. And here we have an armored vehicle. I believe the brand is called Rochelle. And uh, here it says basically some of them, not some of them, but most of them, I guess, are in Ukraine right now, helping our defenders to protect our motherland and throw all the Russian orcs out of our country. So hopefully we can get as many as we can of these uh, vehicles in Ukraine. Again, it was only one, and obviously you see it was super popular. Everybody was jumping on it, taking photos with it. Again, it just looks like a tank. Nothing else to say here. And this is uh, Vinfast. Super popular brand nowadays that came from Vietnam and this brand is just super new. I think it was uh, established in 2017 and in 2022 it came to international showrooms of United States, Canada and Europe and they have these models uh, VF8 and VF9 that are the most popular ones. Um, here we have another super truck look at this Chevy. This is Chevrolet Silverado, another electric truck and that's I guess we're gonna be direct competition with Ford Lightning and maybe you see the previous uh, GMC Denali as well. Again there was no way to get into it, uh, explore their interior but obviously I think by the time maybe I don't know in a few months we'll be able to test drive it, we'll be able to see the performance of this beauty. Again like lo looks super awesome. Here we have some uh, another Beautiful models, like some auto exotica, I guess they call this section. Basically, something that's looking like an F1 car, but I have my doubts regarding it because I think this is something below the F1. Great, not sure. Uh, what is this one called specifically? Obviously, there was some very cool models. There was um, um, obviously this Aston Martin. There was some Rolls Royces, some Lambos. And look at that, this is by the way, that was the Hot Wheels section there. So there was some life-sized Hot Wheels vehicles from the Hot Wheels Garage of Legends, which just blow me away. And look at this, this is the Dart Vader model. Like how cool is that? Definitely would love to drive this around somewhere. And yeah, there have been quite a few of them. And there were also, you know, like uh, besides the life-sized cars, there was like a track where kids were playing with them. And I guess also they had some retail space. So it was really cool. Obviously some more supercars here. And um, another cool thing, Lego group, they brought their life-size Lamborghini and this Lambo was made out of 400 thousand Lego elements. Like this is nuts. And it was just really popular. People were there all the time. Just look at this. Made entirely out of Legos. Just crazy. Last but not least, there were these two cars. I believe this from the first part of Fast and Furious and this is the Connors car, Nissan Skyline, absolutely love it, I think there is Mazda 6, 7 on the left. And that was it guys, if you loved the video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.